Um, will you say the, Danny, are you ready to get made up? <laughs> Am I supposed to say it seriously? You can say it however you want. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Made Up. I'm your host, Danny Volk, and we're here with Paul and Poggy Sapuya. Thanks for having us in your studio. You're welcome. How are you today? I'm good. It's a little early, I guess. It's a little early. No, it's not that early. Well, it's a cloudy day, which always sort of... It's cloudy, yeah. Not, not, not enough sunshine to really get up to. Um, so, Paul, you were born in San Bernardino, California. Yeah. Live and work in Brooklyn. Yep. Went to school at uh, New York University's Tisch School of the Arts, studied oh photography God. and imaging. You know all these things. Well, you know, I know a little <laughs> bit. You know, we've been, we've been fo- I've been following you for like 10 plus years, so I know a little bit. 10, no, nine. Was it nine? It was in the days of Friendster, so it's been a minute. Seriously? Yeah, it was Friendster. Wait, no, Friendster, but 2003 Friendster? 2004 Friendster. That's the question. You know, these things are left for the history books. <laughs> Daniel, are you ready to get made up? I am. Okay. <laughs> so, Paul, you've <laughs> exhibited and, you know, been all over. Now you're in Chicago. You're doing, what's, what's going on in Chicago? I don't even know what color you are. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, what about Chicago? You, you're here at the Hyde Park Arts Center doing the Goldwasser residency? Yes, I'm just gonna put that on your face. So okay, you that's fine. My hands. Um, you don't have anything for your skin tone. Well, is it, what, what, <laughs> what, I don't know, that's lip gloss. Um, what about this? What is that? Is it, this can be foundation? Sure, I mean, you know. Okay, maybe that's. <laughs> I was invited to do the residency. I did not. Apply, I did not apply to it. Um, they and the recommendation for the for it came through a friend in New York who's from Chicago and knows okay. the um, the residency curator here. So um, when they asked if I was interested in coming, you know, if if I'd be interested, in, they were considering me, and if you know, I would be interested in doing it if offered. They sort of asked, you know, what would I do here and did I have any interest in Chicago? The first things that I thought about in Chicago were kind of like, maybe seemed all over the place, but I don't necessarily think that they're all over the place. So are you mostly doing research or are you? Um, oh, well, so I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm kind of like doing, I'm doing research, I'm looking into things or whatever, but I, my work is not research based. And I don't make, none of my projects are directly about anything. And I guess the, what I'm trying to say with all of these sort of like related ideas is that when it, you know, it's like making, like the pictures that I'm taking are one thing, but in the larger sense, they're just sort of like the, the foundation for which other works are made. And so the process, the art, the art making I feel like is in is how the material is translated into narratives, the process of editing, the time that's spent in the studio, how like, you know, any individual work sits within the larger um, the larger project or flow. I guess I'm interested in sort of the lifelong or what would be a lifelong exploration of what portraiture is about. So I don't really say that I'm like a photographer who makes portraits anymore. I kind of say I make, I'm an artist who makes work about portraiture. Hmm. Okay. But the thing is, um, I tend to go back, when I'm thinking about how to approach that process of how to work through that material, it comes back to um, like a, the, like textual experimentation and, liter- and like literary modernism and thinking about and thinking about you know the way people like um, what's his name Jonathan Boone kind of write about about like uh, about queerness and sexual identity and community identity through that um, you know these sorts of conversations between 
the, um, the text and the reader through the material and kind of like a community in, in which the maker, the artists, the subjects, the viewers are all sort of like in conversation with, with each other. And so that's kind of why I'm interested in, um, as well, I think there's something that kind of connects the ideas of experimentation with material and word and text. Repetition and looping and like extending in writing with the experimentation that was happening in music um, and specifically with Chicago House. So anyways, I'm here in Chicago just trying to find, like getting to know the area and exploring and I mean, everything that you see on the walls, I've, all of the smaller things and those things that are, is all new work that I've made here. Oh, okay. Um, the large printouts are some previous stuff that I've been working with and I wanted to have those as kind of like examples so people could see what happens when this material becomes prints that you would, you know, maybe mm -hmm. see on a wall or an exhibition. Okay. <laughs> okay. And you, is this Elizabeth the first? Is that what you said? No, that gave way to this. Did, yeah. Well, what is this? You because think? there wasn't, you didn't have any, there's no like lead right foundation. Right. <laughs> All the foundation is like. Right. <laughs> well, there's this. I think we kind of missed this BB cream. I think it's a little maybe matching, but no, it's not. That, you want white. Too dark. You want white. Yeah. I want to see. This is for like white people who want to be tan. This looks familiar. To what? I don't know. Something. Um, we want to thank Paul for having us in his studio. Thank you, Paul. You're welcome. We'll see you tonight at Latitude. Mm -hmm. And on the 13th at your, at your open studio. And we'll put links to all the stuff below this video. Okay. And um, this has been Made Up with Danny Volk. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>